Yesterday was picture day here at Brooklyn Middle School. The students were all dressed up. They were excited to have their pictures taken, but then the stabbing happened, which sent their frantic parents rushing here to campus. I pray for her every morning that she's safe, but I mean, it's not just here, it's everywhere. Wednesday morning, Chris Edwards once again prayed for her eighth grader before she stepped into Brooklyn Middle School. I asked her, I was like, Are you, do you want to go to school? And she said, you know, yes. And I said, um, do you feel safe? And she said, yes. Um, and she said, and I'm wearing my cross necklace, so I'm good and I pray. Counselors and other support staff will help students and their families following a stabbing that police say happened in the boys' locker room Tuesday morning. They say it involved two seventh graders and a pocket knife. The stabbing forced Brooklyn Middle to go into a lock and teach. They should be able to go to school to get their learning and not have to worry about whether or not they're, they're going to come home that evening. Amanda Hill dropped off her seventh grader. I'm glad they have extra presents here, but I want to see more parents and um fathers get involved. I mean, I mean, you got big kids here, you know, they can't, if somebody gets in a fight, how long before law enforcement can arrive? I'm not surprised it happens at any school, to be honest, this is the world we live. However, it's scary. I mean, and the kids can't be, I mean, they have to be stressed out, wondering if they're going to, you know, be safe at school, so. Well, at last check, the victim was in critical condition at the hospital and even suffered a punctured lung, according to his family. The suspect in juvenile detention facing malicious wounding, felony stabbing, and possession of a knife here on school grounds, but still unknown at this noon hour, Cheryl, is why did this stabbing happen in the first place? We'll certainly keep you updated on any new developments. Working for you here in Henrico County, I'm Brendan King, CBS 6 News.